Look at that beautiful grass in the back of there. Is that the hydroponic? Mm -hmm. That's the that He has he has grown that himself in six days. In six days, man. Look at that. I'm gonna yeah, feed them. Yeah, these guys. They're all coming for it. <laughs> Cause they know the good stuff. I don't know, I might have to go home and change some things and become a farmer myself. This is so <laughs> exciting. Look how beautiful they are. And the cute little cat over here, it gets to hang out and enjoy life on this beautiful farm. They're having fun eating this delicious, nutritious grass so that they can get grass year round. How smart is that? Heading in the amazing growing room. What an awesome system here. That's the seed. Yep, so it's in six day. So this will get fed tomorrow. Then this and so on. This has got seeded today. I this love is, the smell. That this is fresh is grass. Zero. And then, of course, day one, two, three, four. So, this produces the right kind of light, the right kind of humidity. The environments, everything in this. The lights are on, the timers, the irrigation is on, the timers. So, we mimic the right conditions for these seeds to germinate right away and produce a little sprout. What an awesome system. So, could you eat this? You can eat it. Okay, so maybe it, I mean, it's called wheat grass. It's just wheat. They can, you can you, eat I can eat this? Yeah. I think you'll be okay. I'm going to eat some. It kind of tastes like, um, um, it's sweet, it's sweet. And what I like, it's so, there's so much water in there. So we know when we say, you know, it's really good for the hydration, for the cows and the horses, and that's why they're so shiny. So then Scott and our oldest farm, when they're here in the wintertime, and it's the perfect humidity, their skin is perfect. The best thing is the environment control. People make you. So we have, we have heat, we have air conditioning, we have dehumidifiers, we have fans. It's really, yeah, I think it's really good. You can, now you can, now you know why the cows love it. Yeah. So by the time the cow gets this, this seed is gone mm -hmm. completely. So, so they can digest it. Cows eat plants, not grain. Or they should. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this. I need to take this. They're built like this. Grass. So what they do is when they're running the whole operation, they will open it, they will pull this out, it's like a mat, we saw that, and then they put it on the conveyor belt over here, turn it on, it goes all the way up and through the chute, it will go onto the feed truck. That is you guys are genius. And the grain is stored in the silo outside the barn. Grain bins. They have quite the system here. So it comes out of here. Oh, honey. And we soak the seeds for just a little bit and then put it in the trays. Ranchers are a term that's used in the West for an operation that raises the livestock off the land. Farmers grow crops. So in the East Coast, though, they use it farms for everything. Horse farms, cow farms. But there's a difference. There's so a difference. ranchers are dealing with livestock. Farmers are dealing with crops. So it's always a little piece of education, especially for the little guys. 
We do like when our customers come and pick up the beef from our ranch because we can not only tell them but show them how we raise the animals and a lot of the customers will bring their little guys with them so then we can teach the kids and one of the things you know that we like to play with them is like what's the difference between a rancher and a farmer so the next time you come to 3T Ranch you better not call us a farm. <laughs> Oh, there he goes. <laughs>